Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. We're getting ready for the varsity to play. The boys B team game is getting done. There's 24 seconds left to play. Panthers lead 41-39 at the free throw line. Trying to come over here and get a win in Folkestone. Johnson at the free throw line. He'll miss it, so here they come. Charlton's got a chance, a long pass. Out of bounds, let's see. Who's gonna have it here? I think the Panthers will have it. 19 seconds to play. They're gonna have another foul, that'll be on number two, so that'll put the Panthers back at the foul line. We're just going to finish this one up, and then we'll take a break, run some of our ads, and get ready for the girls' game. Another big Region 2A game. First shot up, off the back of the rim. Panthers have had an opportunity to put this one away. Can't do it. Charlton's going to call a timeout. We'll run a little commercial. We'll be back in just a second. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. All right, here we go. 18 seconds to play in the JV game. The JV girls got beat. And the boys are winning by two, 41-39. They will not go into overtime. He hits this one to make it a three-point game, and he does. All right, here come the Indians now, back down the court. Seven seconds. Four seconds. Oh, in and out won't go. Panthers are going to win it. And they will get the win over here in folks in the final, 42 to 39. So y'all don't go anywhere. The girls will come out. They'll start to warm up. And we'll get ready for some varsity basketball. Well, we'll be back in just a second. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-co Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of a lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Be 
Mary this holiday season at the Mary Averett, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912 487-5822. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 912- 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville.
From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, everyone, welcome out to Creek Box TV. We're getting ready for the girls' game. They're warming up. Student section over in Foston. I've got the crowd with the war chant going. The big region 2A basketball game. We are four minutes and 20 seconds away. Don't go anywhere. We're going to run a few more ads, and we're going to come back. We'll be back in just a second. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statonville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. 
look forward to seeing you. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Averett House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averett House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Daniel Munoz up here running the camera. We are getting ready for some region 2A basketball. The Panthers have traveled across the swamp to Folkston, Georgia, to take on the Lady Indians from Charlton County in game one, game two. Between the boys will start around 7.30, probably about 8 o'clock now. We're running about 15, 20 minutes behind. Great JV game between the boys. We're getting ready for the starting lineup. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Charleston County High School for this Region 2A Division 2 battle between the Clinch County Lady Panthers and your Charlton County Maidens. We'd like to ask everyone to please rise as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem. Here to perform it is CCHS alumnus Pam Williams.
All right, Miss Pam did a great job for the national anthem. For the Blanche County Pantherettes. A sophomore, number one, Destiny Tolbert. A freshman, number three, Laura Magby. A sophomore, number four, Amaria Dean. A senior, number ten, Jalasia Riley. Senior number 23, Tiana Dorsey. Led by head coach Chase Daniels and assistant coaches Doreen Johnson and J.D. Quinn. And now, the starting lineups for your Charlton County Bandits. And guard, a freshman, number one, Rihanna Bano. And forward, a senior, number 11, There's your starting lineup for both teams. We're getting ready to tip this thing off. We appreciate everybody tuning in. All right, here we go. Panthers in their black uniform. Charlton in their white. Panthers are winning the top tip. See my buddy Judge Clay Thomas had just come by. Talk to him for a second. Here come the Indians. Trying to get inside. Dorsey will steal it back out to Talbert. Panthers down. On this end, there's a turnover. Here come the Indian back. Number one battle with the ball all the way to basket and one. That's going to be on Cupcake, number 10. That'll be your first. Charlton on top, two to nothing. Miss Pam did an excellent job with the national anthem. Battle, trying to make it a three-point play here. Shot on the way, off the back of the rim. Panthers with the rebound, here comes Magby. She'll give it up to Talbert. Talbert over to Dorsey. Back out to Dean, Dean dribbling around. They run into each other, Dean and Magby did. Cupcake with it now. There'll be another turnover. Panthers trying to get it. Indians have it, they threw it out. Let's see, with their jump ball? No, the Indians called timeout to keep the possession. All right, that'll give me a chance to give our sponsors a shout out. We have Richard's Meat and Seafood and Famous Barbecue. The Averett House, the Little Averett and the Mary Averett, Douglas Metal, Huey's One Stop, Moore Farms right there in Maine, Georgia, and Lutz Brown Insurance, Walker Jones of Waycross, Burt CPA, Napa Auto of Homerville, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Camping World of Alasta, Savage Turner Law Firm, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Peach Inn of Waycross, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Clayton Homes of Waycross, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Dre Snack Shack, Clinch Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine Program, and Homerville Jewelers. Long three and got it. Battle with a three. She's got all five points for the Indians. 
She had 10 points last time they played. Panthers won by 11, 47 to 36. Dean with the shot off the backboard won't go. Dorsey had it, put it back up, have a miss, and there's another Panther turnover. Indians go up, oh, had it. Magby with the rebound. Back out to Cupcake, here come the Panthers. Dorsey with the ball, or Talbert with the ball. Trying to get it to Dorsey. Dorsey will dribble in just inside the free throw line. She traveled. Turnover Panthers. Humphreys will bring it in for the Indians. Battle bringing it down. Five to nothing. Charlton on top over Clinch. Battle got rid of it. Dorsey knocked it out of bounds. I hope they said it come off number 22, Humphrey, so the Panthers will take over. Cupcake got it to Dorsey. Dorsey back to Cupcake, back to Dorsey. 12-footer, got it. Good shot by Dorsey. Five to two now. Here come the Indian, battle with the ball. She'll throw one up, won't go. Dean with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Oh, they said Dean traveled. That'll be a turnover. Coach Chase wants a timeout. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in just a second. All right, here we go. Indians with the ball. Battle will bring it in. Got it under low, good job. Got it down low to 35 steal. She'll put it up and in. Seven to two now, Indians on top. Talbert with the ball, back over to Magby. Down to Dorsey. Dorsey will come back outside, and there's another turnover. Indians with the ball. Lays it out. She's going to drive in. Oh! Threw it up. Too early. Panthers have it. Here they come. Trying to get it down low. Off the fingertips of battle. Morris will check in for Dorsey. She'll bring it in. Morris got it in to Talbert. Over to Magby. Talbert driving in, lays it up, no good. Rebound, Morris lost it. Cupcake will save it for the Panthers. Back over to Dean. Dean's been around, jumper won't go. Indians had it, and she'll travel, that'll be a turnover. Morris will bring it in. Over to Magby, back to Morris. Long three, boom, there it is, Morris with a three. Panthers needed that one, seven to five now. Battle bringing it down for the Indians. They'll kick it over to Humphreys. Humphreys trying to drive in, she traveled, Panthers have it. Talbert bringing it down for the Panthers. Morris with the ball. She just hit a big three back out to Talbert. Over to Morris. They get it into Dean. Dean trying to drive. Can't go. Got it. Good shot by Dean. We're all tied up. Seven apiece now. 
Humphreys will bring it into battle. She'll dribble around, lost it, Dean stole it. Here come the Panthers. Dean's gonna take it all the way, won't go. Cupcake will save it, put it up, won't go. Dean with it now, she'll put it back up and got it. Nine to seven now, Panthers on a six to nothing run. Indians trying to get it down low. And they'll lose it out of bounds. Panthers will take over. Dorsey coming back in the game for the Panthers. Dean taking a break. Talbert will bring it down for the Panthers. We're up above 1,200 people watching right now here on Creek Box. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Dorsey to the basket. Tried to dump it off to Magby, lost it. Here come the Indians. She'll miss it. Rebound Marsh. She'll give it to Talbert. Two on one. Magby with the ball. Lays it up, won't go. Talbert with the rebound. Back to Magby. Morris with it now. Magby will take the three, no good. Here come the Indians. All the way, won't go. Morris with the rebound. Out the cupcake, here come the Panthers now. Over to Talbert. Talbert will shoot, overshot the basket. Indians with the rebound, here come Charlton now. Battle, long pass, good pass too. All the way down to steal. She'll put another one in. Nine to nine now. Here come the Panthers. Talbert looking over the cupcake. Got it to Dorsey. We're gonna have a push on steal, I think. That will, that'll be Steele's first. What's up, yeah, what's up? All right, Panthers have it. Steele with one foul. Got it into Dorsey. Dorsey over to Mars. Mars with another three, short. Rebound in there, Stevens, I think. Time out. Nope, jump ball. Indians will have it. That was Stevens down there for the Panthers trying to get it. <coughs> Battle bringing it down for the Indians. We're tied up nine to nine. Minute 20 seconds left in the first. There she is again, still. Can't get it to go, Dorsey got the rebound. Morris with the ball. Oh, she lost it. Here come the Indians back down. Dorsey will slap it away, kept an easy layup from going in. Good job by Dorsey. Out with number 23, Hamilton. She scored the most points against the Panthers the last time these two met in Homerville. Still throw it up, won't go. Talbert, no, Nana stole it. We got a foul. See who this one's on. Twenty-three. That's Hamilton. That'll be her first. Talbert with the ball. Back over to Nana. Dean has it. Stevens over to Talbert. Talbert driving in, won't go. Rebound in there, number 11. That's Knox. Here come the Lady Indians. There's a steal by Dean. She's going to take it all the way. Couldn't get it. Talbert cleaned it up and put it in. 
11 to nine, Panthers lead now. 25 seconds to play in the first. Clock running. 16 seconds, rebound steal, she'll draw a foul. That's gonna be on number four, that's Dean, that'll be her first. Steel at the free throw line. Got it, good shot by her. Five points tonight for Steel. Panthers will get a sub in. Second shot on the way, got them both. Good job by Steele. 11 to 11, we're all tied up. Eight seconds. Five seconds. Good pass, Dorsey back door, got it. Cupcake for the Panthers right at the buzzer. So after one quarter, it's Clinch County 13, Charlton County 11, we'll be back just a second. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Aver House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averett House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. All right, here we go. Panthers with the ball. And the lead. They lead 13 to 11. Dean, turn around. 10 footer won't go. She'll draw a foul. They got number 23. That's Hamilton. That'll be her second. Dean at the free throw line now. First shot, got it. Good job by Dean. Five points for her tonight. Got them both, good job. Battle, bringing it down for the Indians. Trying to get it low, she traveled. That'll be a turnover, Panthers have it. Talbert bringing it down. Cupcake, she traveled. That'll be another turnover. Here come the Indians. Good move inside. Dorsey will slap it, knock it out, and got it. Here come the Panthers. Talbert looking, bounce pass to Dean, lays it up and in. 17 to 11 now. Panthers on an eight to nothing run. Humphreys with the ball. Got it back to battle. Down low, got it. That's good shot there by number 35, Steele. Panthers with the ball. Can't get it to go. Who touched it? Here 
Here come the Indians now. 6.37 to play in the first half. Battle will dribble through two of them, throws it up, won't go. Rebels with the rebound up and in. That's Canbert right there with two points. 17-15 now. So what we got here. There's a steal by the Indians. Here comes Battle from one end to the other. Lays it up and in. Battle with seven points. We're all tied back up. Panthers trying to drive in. Can't get it to go. Indians thought they had it saved. Panthers have it. Talbert overshot the goal, rebound in there, Magby. Dean, turnaround jumper, won't go. Knocked out of bounds. Panthers have it. Oh, there's another steal by the Indians, she'll take it all the way, won't go. Man, Lanita, uh, Charlton has had some opportunities. We got a timeout now, I think. Here we go, Mingo uh, battle with the ball. Lambert. There's another steal by the Panthers. Magby bringing it down. She'll give it up to Talbot. Dean with a long three. It won't go. Here comes Charlton. Long three. Won't go. Rebound Indians up and in. Nineteen seventeen. Panthers need a basket now. She'll throw up a ten footer, won't go. Dean with the rebound. Up and in. Come the Indians now. Boom, long shot. That was just a two. That was shot by number 11. Knox. Panthers trying to tie it up. Won't go, fighting for it. Got it that time. Come the Indians. Over steal by Dorsey. A long pass. Tober to run it down, lays it up and in. Battle back down, another block by Dorsey. She has it. Can't get it to go. There's another Panther turnover. Panthers get it right back. And then they'll turn it right back over. 
Morris checking into the game now for the Panthers. Here we go. Miss Johnson says, come on, Panthers. Cooper girls battle with the ball. Long shot off the backboard. What is it, Danny? Great game here. 23-21. Indians on top of the Panthers. Steal with the free throw. Won't go. Something about playing over here in folks, and boy, they play hard now. Second shot on the way for Steele. Off the rim, won't go. Indians try to save it, Panthers have it. Here come the Panthers. Stevens with a three, off the rim, won't go. Indians have it. Long pass, got her under the basket. Good shot. And Colbert, number 25. 23-23 now. Long three off the back of the rim. Panthers with the rebound. Magby will throw one up, in and out. Dean had it, but lost it. Here comes Charlton, battle with the ball. Throws it up, won't go. Steal with the rebound, won't go. Got it again, this time she'll make it. Twenty-five, twenty-three. Charlton on top. Long three off the back of the rim. Knocked it out of bounds. Steven back in the game for the Panthers. Let's see, we might have a timeout. We do. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coach Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, Chevy find new roads. roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo. All right, here we go. 1-15 to play in the first half. Charlton on top of the Panthers, 25-23. Mind everybody, tomorrow night, me and, Axon, uh, me and Daniel will make the trip to Atkinson County for another Region 2A matchup. And that ought to be a game. Under a minute now. Battle drives in, she'll kick it out. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Six seconds. Four, three, two, out of bounds. Panthers have it. As Felicia says, Clinch need the remedy for turnovers. I'm with you. You come up with one, let us know. I'm sure Coach Chase would love to have it. Oh, there's another one right there. Almost. 32 seconds to play in the first half. Panthers keep it. Cupcake with the ball, back to Morris. 
Norris thinking about it. There's a turnover, another turnover. Come the Indians now. 15 seconds on the clock, it's running. They'd love to have a full point lead at that. Meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond. Call Gregory to schedule Richard's catering service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 9-1-2-4-8-7-5-8-2-2. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got my buddy and the head basketball coach, Coach Terrence George, with us. Coach Terrence George, we appreciate you taking the time to be with us. Man, we've had a couple of tough losses here the last couple of games. We played some good teams in Lanier County and Coffee County. But, man, I was talking to you before the game, and I know you practice every day, brother. I know you. That's uh, right. Everybody, man, we it's like... We've had people saying, what's wrong with our rim? Is it smaller on our end of the court? We just can't get nothing to go in, brother. <laughs> you know, we've kind of been in a bit of a funk over the past uh, two games. You know, we've been uh, struggling a little bit from the field. Um, so we got to, you know, we, we put in time at practice, um, just getting up tons of shots on the uh, shooting machine. And so we're trying to find that rhythm, get back in that rhythm to where we make at least a few shots so that we can make these defenses extend out of zones and, and have to guard us in man and, and just be a threat from all angles of the floor at that point. Yeah, man, it's so different when you can't make a shot. We, we like to get that quick score and press them and try to get another quick score. and Hard to do when you can't get the first score. Right, that's, that is correct. So, you know, if teams are, you know, allowed to sit back in a zone and say, hey, shoot the ball. And, and so as, as an offensive uh, game plan, you've got to be able to make those shots to get those teams out of zones. And so... You know, we've been struggling with that for the past two games. Uh, hopefully, you know, we have uh, 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 on upswing now. And so come out of that and, and maybe we can hit some shots here tonight. That's right. Well, man, that, uh, it's called a season for a reason. You know, we started off strong, man. Like I said, we had a nine-game winning streak, couldn't do nothing wrong. And, and, and if you're going to have a slump, you want it to happen now. You, you'd like to get a couple of big wins here and, and get some momentum headed in the right direction before the playoffs start. That's right. You know, last year, down the stretch right there, we kind of hit this funk, and we lost uh, four of our last five games. And so this year, you know, uh, we've kind of talked about that and how we don't want to uh, repeat some of the same stuff. So we look forward to try to break that cycle tonight um, and, and, and get that momentum back that carried us to nine straight wins and, and look to take that into the playoffs. And so, you know, it's right now looking at teams in the playoff, we're very competitive with them. Um, everybody's kind of close together. And so having some momentum will definitely swing the thing, uh, swing things in our favor. Well, man, I, I, I just feel for you. I watch you and when you duck your head and start rubbing your forehead and just stare at the floor, there's nothing more you can do. You've done coached all you can, brother. <laughs> hey, you know, at, <laughs> at that point, all I'm doing is losing more hair. You yeah, hear me? <laughs> yeah, brother, there's a lot of praying that goes on in these games. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> you can believe that. But, uh, man, you're doing a great job. It's just, it's, it's like you said, we got a good team. Uh, what we don't have is a big guy. We got a little guy that plays like a big guy. That's uh, right. Uh, you know, and, and man, uh, old uh, Bell, he scored a thousand points in his career. He's a senior. Man, what a lot of people's asking is, is what college is looking at Bell? 
Um, you know, that's something I really haven't discussed with him. You know, that kind of stuff, you know, that's for he and his family to, you know, really go through all that kind of good stuff. And I'm not one to try to influence him one way or another. Um, it's just my hope and desire that the kid goes to the best place that that's best for him for right. you know for the school that truly wants him and wants to utilize his talents and his abilities you know like we've done here in high school you know whether it be football and basketball and now tennis we have utilized his abilities for the past several years and i hope he goes to a school that really utilizes his same abilities well man he's a special ball player uh, I, and i mean i don't have to tell you no more than that uh, looking back man we we, we got a bunch of young kids that's coming back that's either on back in the middle school. That's right. Uh, we 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 have got we have got a good run coming coming our way, and we're finally going to get some size back. It looks like. Coach. Yeah, we get some size back. You know, we still got to develop a a scoring threat down low. Like you said, Bell is he's kind of plays all five positions for us. Uh, we really need someone you know to be a dominant factor in the paint, or at least put you know be some type of threat in the paint so that. You know, we can uh, extend the floor a little bit, give them more space to operate down low, and just really put pressure on people um, to commit fouls, you know, uh, without playing, you know, solid defense against us. Well, man, um, uh, when we played Charlton the first time, brother, they could not miss a shot. Hey, the, rim, the uh, rim was big, Allen. <laughs> hey, man, Braddock had 18. Uh, that was number one. Number two, Jamari had 25 for them, and Tolliver had 10. You know, them three right there. And I think they shot like 80% from the three-point line. Hey, man, they made big shots. And so we look forward to try to not allow them to get that momentum out the gate like they did last time. You know, and so we're gonna, we look, we've are gonna looked at film. Uh, we've discussed the defensive schemes and, and, and preparations to which we want to try to do things a little bit differently. And we just want to make it difficult for them to get a shot up. And so if we make it diff difficult for them getting shots up, I feel pretty confident about what we can do tonight. Well, man, we appreciate you. We love you, brother. Good luck to you, and we'll see you Tuesday. No, tomorrow night Mark. in Axon County. That's right. We go to Axon tomorrow. That's another big region game. That's right. And, man, you know, we started off, we had one, two games, and now does that come to be a factor, Coach, when you have three games in a week? It, it can. For two weeks, that's six games in 14 days. You know, man, it could really, it could really wear kids out. And so you, at practices, you know, we try to cut back on the – the amount of sprints that we're running up and down the court, the amount of time that we're scrimmaging. You know, we're late in the season right now, and fatigue is always, uh, you know, something that you have to think about. And so we want to try to limit, uh, you know, a lot of running up and down the floor because we are playing three nights a week right now. And, uh, you know, we just want to try to not be worn out before the playoffs start. That's right, man. You want these kids to rest up at school. Yes, sir. Just, just uh, uh, get their academics Thanks, in and, and, and rest up. <laughs> and that's the thing, you know, Alan, the majority of these kids have been running ever since, you know, spring football last year. They haven't had a break yet. You that's know? right. That's and right. They, like, they are just like us. We all need breaks. And so, you know, we're going to try to try to manage that down the stretch right here and without, you know, and still try to stay in rhythm with the game. And, uh, you know, just look to try to, you know, avoid being fatigued when we hit the playoffs. Well, brother, we appreciate you. Tune in, and we'll catch you tomorrow night, Coach. Uh, we Good appreciate luck. it, man. Thank you. Yeah, man. All right, there you go, folks. Coach Terrence George, we're getting ready for the second half of the girls' game. The coaches' interview is sponsored by Tom Kennedy for mayor. Uh, we'll have Coach Chase at halftime of the boys' game. It'll be Coach Doreen, Coach Chase, or Coach J.D., whichever one's available. We'll get them up here. Uh, Lady Panthers trailing in a region – to a battle here, 25-23. So we're getting ready. We're waiting on the referees to come back in, and here they come. We got over 1,200 people watching tonight. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Jacquez Holmes. Uh, <laughs> took so much pressure off the guards. You write about that when they had someone like Tresman uh, down low. That's why we got to hit them outside shots. All right. Indians are in their white uniforms. Panthers in their black uniforms. We're ready. Battle. Bring it down for the Indians. Driving to the basket. Dorsey got a piece of it, but they're saying Dorsey got a piece of her too, I think. Let's see. 
Yep, that's going to be on Dorsey. That'll be her first. We're just underway here in the second half. Battle's first shot. On the way, got it. Good shot by Battle. Battle with the eight points, nine points tonight now. She had 10 in the first game. She's topped that. She's got 11 now. 27-23 now. Indians on top. Magby with the ball. Cupcake will give it up. Dean, turnaround jumper in and out. Won't stay. Rebound steal for the Indians. Knocked out of bounds. Talbert tried to get it. Couldn't hold on to it. Indians will bring it in. We didn't get all the B-team games in, but the B-team won from Clinch County, 41 to 39. The girls got beat. Can't remember the score, but it was probably about 10 points. All right, here come the Indians. Trying to add to that lead. Back over to Battle. Battle, long three off the side, won't go. Magby with the rebound for the Panthers. She'll get it over. Oh, we got a foul. No, she stepped out of bounds. Another Panther turnover. Just one of them nights. Humphreys will bring it in. You get it to Knox, back to Humphreys. Got it to 23, driving to the basket, won't go. Dean fighting for it, knocked out of bounds. Hamilton drove in, couldn't get it to go. Panthers knocked it out of bounds. Good job by Dean to get the steal. Here she comes with the ball. Almost lost it, saved it off the backboard, won't go, steal with the rebound for the Indians. Dean with the steal. Back over to Cupcake, will put it up, won't go. Dean with another rebound, won't go. Got it again, this time a 15-footer over the back of the rim. Oh, the Panthers can't get it. 27 23. Here come the Indians now. Battle back over to Humphreys. Indians slowing it down a little bit now. Battle with the ball. Knocked out of bound by Dean. Charlton to keep it. Nine seconds on the shot clock for the Indians. Shot clock is running. No, not yet. No clock's running. Got a foul. The clock didn't run. Let's see what they called this on. They called that on Dorsey. That'll be her second foul. First shot on the way. Won't go. Second free throw on the way. Got it off the backboard. Good shot by Hamilton. 28-23. Indian with their biggest lead of the night by five. Cupcake trying to get it to Dean. Won't go. There's another turnover. Oh, this Panthers steal it back. Knocked out of bounds. They said Talbert lost it out of bounds. Here 
comes Charlton now. Bat on bringing it down. She'll dribble around three of them. Good pass. Down to 23. Hamilton driving to the basket. Can't get it. Panthers scoop it up. Talbert with the ball. Back over to Magby. Magby throws one up and it won't go. Panthers just can't get it. Indians throw it away. Panthers will have it. Talbert with the ball. Surely we'll make one here in a minute. Back to Talbert. Dorsey from the free throw line, won't go. Dean rebound, won't go. Second time, finally the Panthers get a basket. 28-25 now. Indians driving, they'll lose it. Dorsey with it, she'll throw it out to Talbert. Talbert over to Magby. Magby throws it up, can't get it. Talbert will make it go. Good shot by Talbert. Talbert with six points tonight. Panthers cut it to a one-point game, and there's another turnover by the Indians. 28-27. Panthers finally wake up halfway through the third. Battle will take a break for Charlton. Cambered in the game for the Indians. Tolbert bringing it down for the Panthers. Over to Cupcake. Back to Tolbert. Dorsey with the ball at the free throw line. She'll throw one up, won't go. Got her own rebound, she traveled. Another Panther turnover. We're over 1,500 people watching now on Creek Box. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Indians with the ball and the lead, 28-27. Dean almost with a steal. Indians drive in, can't get it. Oh, the Panthers had it and lost it out of bounds. Twenty-two will bring it in for Charlton. That's Humphreys. Going to get it into Knox. Back to Humphreys. Humphreys to the basket. Won't go. Dean got it. Jump ball. Panthers had the possession. Panthers would love to get a lead back here. Under four minutes here in the third. Magby with the ball, got it to Dorsey. Knocked out of bounds, nope, the Indians have it. With a steal. Let's see, we got a foul. Man, is that on Dorsey too? Yep, that's gonna be foul number three on Dorsey. Here comes Charlton. They still holding on to a one-point lead. Dorsey got to be careful now. There's a turnover. Talbert with the ball. Here come the Panthers. She gets Magby all alone, lays it up and one. Good shot by Magby. Panthers 29, Indians 28. Magby will be at the free throw line. Trying to make it a three-point play. Magby shot off the back rim. Won't go. Dorsey had it. She will. Got it. She'll give it to Dean. Dean drives in. Throws one up. Won't go. Knocks with the rebound. Here come the Indians. Humphreys all the way. Lays it up and in. Well, that was Hamilton, excuse me. Charlton back out in front, 30-29 now. Under three minutes to play in the third. 
Talbert got it into Dorsey. Dorsey crossover, won't go. Got her own rebound. I'll throw it up again, won't go. Oh, Magby will put it up, won't go. Dean tried to get it, it won't go. Panthers shoot four times, won't go. We got a jump ball. Can't make a shot on that end. Morris is checking in for Dorsey. Boy, she was close to picking up her fourth foul. Here come the Indians now, battle with the ball. You'll get it over to 22, Humphreys. Humphreys, pass to steal down low, won't go. Dean blocked it, has the rebound, and here she comes. Lays it up and in, Panthers back in front. 31-30. Hamilton with the ball. They get it down to Steele inside. She'll turn around, won't go. Knocked out of bounds by Steele. Panthers have it. Cupcake will bring it down. Over to Stevens. Evens to Magby. Back to Morris. Oh, they're trying to get it inside. They'll lose it. Here come the Indians. Trying to save it. Oh, she will. Nope, she was out of bounds. Panthers will take over. She slid about five yards. Traveled, I thought so too, but they didn't call traveling. They said she was out of bounds. Here comes Talbert now for the Panthers. Panthers trying to add to their lead. Up by one. Magby with the ball. Morris has it. Magby dribbling around. Morris with the long three off the rim. Magby up high with the rebound. She'll throw it back up. Oh, man, it went in and come out. Out of bounds off Stevens, so the Indians will have it. 11 to play here in the third. They bring it in. Here comes Charlton. She's going to drive to the basket, lays it up and in. Hamilton with another basket. 32-31. Charlton back on top. There's another steal by the Indians. Going to drive, lays it up, won't go. Battle with the rebound. She'll throw it up and get it. Thirty-four, thirty-one. Indians on top. Cupcake will drive in, throw it up, won't go. Panthers can't buy a shot. Indians down, lays it up, won't go, knocked out of bounds. Panthers will have it. 19 seconds to play in the third. 34-31. Charlton on top. Oh, almost lost that one out of bounds. Here comes Morris. Over to Talbert. 10 seconds on the shot on the clock. Long three by Cupcake won't go. Knocked with the rebound for Charlton. Here they come. That's going to do it. After three quarters of basketball, it's Charlton County 34, Clinch County 31. We'll be back in just a second. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. 
call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase. All right, here we go, the fourth and final period. Lady Panthers undefeated in region play, but boy, that's in jeopardy now. Dorsey with a three off the rim won't go. Knox, I think, touched it last. Let's see. Yep, Panthers, I have it. Oh, man. Now I brought it in, bounced it off the defender. She just touched it too soon. She was still out of bounds. Battle will bring it in for the Indians. Hamilton with the ball. She's going to drive all the way. Won't go. Steal with a rebound up and in. A rebound machine for the Indians. 36-31 now. Panthers trail by five. They get it to Dean. Dean, turnaround jumper. Got it. Dean with 16 points tonight for the Panthers. Battle with the ball. She'll lose it. Dean has it. Looking good pass by Dean. Oh, blocked. Panthers lead more points down there. Man. There's a steal. Good job by Dean. Nana. Did she go out of bounds? Let's see. She did. That'll be another Panther turnover. They get it in. Hamilton with the ball. Pass to steal again, and there it is. Still coming alive in the fourth. She has 14 points tonight for Charlton. 38-33. Talbert drive in, won't go out of bounds. That'll be a turnover. Let's see. Nope, now they'll change it. Panthers ball. Jackson County said they were waiting on the Panthers for tomorrow night. Me and Daniel will be there. Believe that. Here come the Indians. Hamilton with it driving in. Good job pass to Steele. We got a foul. That could be on Dorsey. That'll be foul number four if it is. Yep, that's on Dorsey. That'll be number four. What is Coach Chase going to do? 608 to play in the game. You about got to leave her in. Steele with the ball. Dorsey with the block. Boy, she blocked it anyway with four fouls. Oh, Battle throws it up and gets it to roll somehow. They can't miss. Biggest lead of the night for the Indians. 40-33. Cupcake with the ball. Dean has it. Turn around. That's a block by Steele. Indians have it, and here they come. Hamilton all the way in and one. Dorsey's gone. 
That'll be foul number five on Dorsey. Hamilton goes down hard. Hope she's all right. Maybe it just knocked the breath out of her. We're going to take a break while they're looking at her. Maybe she'll be all right. We'll be right back in just a second. commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best Hi, right, dear buddy. 23 Hamilton. Somebody will come in and shoot four. She's up, look like she's hurt her knee or ankle. Man, she's a great ball player. I hope she's all right and ready to come back in the game here just shortly. That'll be a three-point play, and we're going to add it to Hamilton's score. How about that? Because I can. That's a 10-point lead for the Indians now, 43-33. Panthers got to have a basket on this possession. Plenty of time left, but we've got to get some points. Talbert drives in. There's a foul. That'll be on steal. She has killed the Panthers tonight. That'll be foul number two. Dorsey has fouled out. She'll finish tonight. Dorsey will with just two points. Couple of blocks. Finally gets some points. Good shot there by Talbert. No, that's Stevens, excuse me. Second free throw on the way, got them both. No, that was Talbert, excuse me, that's number one. Panthers trying to get a little pressure on now. Throw it down. Humphreys with the ball. Knox with a long shot, won't go off the back of the rim. Another offensive rebound. Humphreys will put it up, won't go. Steele will put it up, won't go. Finally, Dean's got it, here come the Panthers. Dean all the way, lays it up and in. 43-37. There's another steal, the Panthers have it. Nana got it. Coach Chase wants a timeout, we'll take one. Panthers have it, they can cut it a little bit closer. We'll be back in just a second. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the... 
All right, here we are. Panthers have it. Nine I'll bring it in. They'll get it to Talbert. Back to Nine I. Nine I has it. Good job. Got it into Magby. Magby needs help. The Panthers turn it over. They got her trapped down low. Battle lost it, but it'll be knocked out of bounds by the Panthers. Charlton will keep possession. Panthers stay in a little press. 43-37. Charlton on top. Here come the Indians. Knox with the ball. There's a steal by the Panthers. Tolbert has it. Dribbling down. She's going to take notes. She'll stop. Got it to Dean. Dean back over to Talbert. Talbert back to Dean in the middle. Dean will put it up. Can't get it. No foul. Under the basket. Got it. Another basket by Dean. 43-39 now. Panthers were down by 10. They've cut it to four. We'll be back in just a second. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy. All right, here we go, folks. Panthers were just down by 10. Now they're down by four. Magby coming, and it'll be knocked out of bounds by the Indians. Panthers have it. 3.53 to play in the game. We need a basket here. Talbert with the ball. Dribbling around. She'll get back at the top. Over to 9 9 9 9 drive in. Got blocked. Knox has it. She'll dribble out. Talbert almost with the steal. Battle. Got it down to steal. Throws it up. No good. Battle will put it up, won't go. Panthers have it. Cupcake with it. Trying to get it to Dean. The Indians knock it out of bounds. Panthers coming off a big win at Coffee County Tuesday night. Trying to stay undefeated in the region. Magby with the ball. Back to Stevens. Stevens to Magby. She'll turn around, throws it up, won't go. Panthers still struggling from outside. Jump ball. Indians have it. Jeffrey Abney says, let's go, Panthers. We up above 2,000 people watching tonight on Creek Bucks. We appreciate all y'all tuning in. Here we go. Battle with the ball. We're fixing to roll under three minutes in the game. Almost a steal by the Panthers. Got to get rid of it. They do. Trying to get it to Knox over there. Dean will knock it out of bounds. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Battle will bring it in. They get it underneath and one. What a shot. Cambert with the shot. Six points for her tonight. A chance to make it a three-point play. Foul will be on Cupcake. That'll be her second. 45-39. She'll miss the free throw. Here come the Panthers. Talbert with the ball. She'll dribble in. Tries to throw up. It'll be short. Jump ball. Panthers will have it. Good job by Stevens. Oh, 
Oh, they're trying to get it into Magby to be knocked out of bounds. Shot clock is running. Here we go, they reset it now to 25. Talbert with the ball, over to Stevens. Stevens with a three. Off the back of the rim, won't go. Knocked with the rebound, here come the Indians. Trying to get it away, good steal by Nana. Nana got it to Dean, back to Nana, out of bounds. Panthers lose it, man. Missed opportunities, 45-39. They're gonna get it in, here come the Indians. She'll lose it out of bounds, Panthers should have it. Referee's talking. Panthers ball, Panthers ball. Coach Chase was up while he's fixing to get upset with that one. We gotta have a basket here, 2-12 to play. And we'll lose it, turnover, steal with the steal. Long pass out to Battle. Battle lays it up. No good. Magby with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. They get it down to Talbert. Talbert drives in. No good. Rebound. Nana will throw it up. Dean with the ball. See if she can get it. Won't go. Magby will put it up. Won't go. Dean will put it up and it won't go. We finally got a foul, I guess, on number 11. That's going to be on Knox. That'll be her first. 1.42 to play. Panthers trail by six. We just can't get it to go in the hoop. It won't go. You got to shoot the ball. Talbert with the ball. Back to Stevens. Three seconds. They camp down in the paint. Another Panther turnover. There's another steal, knocked out of bounds. Indians will have it. 1.31 to play. Long pass, trying to get it to steal. It's going to go out of bounds. Panthers will have it. Oh, we got a timeout, so we'll take one, too. We'll be back in just a second. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also, the good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munzo up here running the camera. Talbert with the ball. You don't get no points here. It's about over with. Talbert drives in. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Magby nowhere to go. Back out to Talbert. That's Stevens with it. Talbert with it now. Got the shoot. There's a long shot, won't go. Steal with the rebound. She'll throw it out to battle. Under a minute to play now. That'll be a foul. Let's see, nope, no foul, just knocked out of bounds. One minute exactly to play. Six point ball game, 45-39. Charlton have just played a great game and the Panthers have stunk it up. Just cannot get it to go in the round hoop. The 
Referee is talking to the scorekeeper. I guess they're discussing the shot clock, I guess. Want to remind everybody, don't go anywhere after this game. We're going to take about a 15-minute break and come back for the boys. Well, the Panthers beat Charlton in Homerville 47-36. to But it don't look like they're going to do it tonight. They're talking with Coach Chase and Charlton's coach. I guess they're trying to see how much time should go on the shot clock. Well, here we go, 25 seconds, I guess, is going on it. Indians have it. Got to get it in. They do to steal under the basket, and that'll be a foul. That one's going to be on Magby, and that'll put steal at the free throw line. Nope, they called it on Dean. That'll be her third. Dean has scored a pile of points for the Panthers tonight. She got 14. Steal with another basket. Dean has 20 points for the Panthers. Still missed a second one, knocked out of bounds. Indians will keep it. Still with 15 points for the Indians. 57 seconds to play. Back to battle. Battle dribbling around. A foul with four seconds left. Panthers are going to lose their first region game of the year. And, folks, they go to Pearson tomorrow, and Pearson has not lost a game since the Panthers beat them in Homerville. So no matter where you're at tomorrow at 6, try to catch it. We'll have it live here on Creek Box. Dean will miss the first one. It's been that kind of night for the Panthers. Second shot on the way for Dean. Won't go. Rebound, steal. Nope, she lost it. That's going to do it. The game is over. 47 to 41. The Panthers come up short. We're going to take a break, get ready for the boys' game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. 
from large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Daniel Munzo up here running the camera. We apologize, we have dropped off the internet two or three times, but we come right Are you back your up. Agent, so, uh, you live in Homerville, you know how the internet is. We apologize, and we don't have no control over it. We're hooked up to their school system, so when they drop, we drop. Well, the Lady Panthers suffered their first region loss. Now it's to the boys. Clinch played Charlton earlier in the year and got beat 65 to 60 in Homerville. Bale had 32 points for the Panthers in that loss. Over half the points. Panthers are going to have to deal with number one, Braddock from Charlton. Number two, Jamari. He had 25 points. And number 11, Tolliver, who had 10. Senior, number one, RJ Gloucester. A junior, number four, Aaron Bryant, Jr. A freshman, number five, Peace Bingo. A senior, number 13, Jeremy Bell, Jr. And a senior, number 23, Jay Sean Raymond. There's your starters for the Panthers. Gloucester, Bryant, Mingo, Bell, and Raymond. Footer off the back of the rim won't go. Here come the Indians. Braddock with the ball. He'll pull up. Long three won't go. Panthers with the rebound. Mingo got it. Brian will bring it down. Panthers will slow it down again. Two to nothing they lead. Mingo with it. They'll get it to Raymond. Raymond trying to drive to the basket. Stepped on the line. Out of bounds. Panthers turn it over. All right, here come the Indians. They miss. Back. The Panthers have it. Gonna slow it down again. Bryant driving in. He'll pull up. 12-footer. Got it. Good job by Bryant with the basket. Four to nothing. Panthers lead. Long pass. He'll give it up to number 11. Tolliver took the shot. Won't go. Jump ball. Bell tied him up. Panthers have it. Bryant bringing it down. Got it to Bell in the middle. Bell, he'll lose it. Here come the Indians. Jamari with the ball out of bounds. Lost it out of bounds. Charlton to keep it. Basket, good shot by Tolliver, a three-pointer to a one-point game. Four to three. Panthers turn it over. Martin with the ball. All the way back out to Jamari. Another three, overshot it. Rebound, Mingo tried to get it. Out of bounds, let's see Panthers have it. All right, here we go. Boy, almost backcourt there. They got them three lines, it's very confusing. Good pass, bail to Raymond, he'll put it up and in. Six to three now. Right back, Tolliver with another basket. Not Tolliver, excuse me, that was Jamari with another one. Six to five. Panthers get it to Bryant. Bryant back to RJ. RJ dribbling around, trying to get it to Bell. They'll turn it over. Here come the Indians. Martin with the ball. Now 
Now Charlton take, taking their time. They'll kick it out. Tolliver back to Martin. Three minutes, 50 seconds to play in the first. One point game, Panthers on top. Martin has it. He's gonna drive in, oh! He double dribbled, that'll be a turnover, Panthers ball. Johnson will check in for the Panthers, number two. RJ will take a break. Bryant bringing it down. Johnson with the ball. They got him trapped, he needs some help, he got rid of it. Got it to Raymond. Bell with the ball, now Bell thought he was gonna break, Bryant can't save it. Bell thought he was going one way and Bryant went the other and that'll be a turnover. Here come the Indians now. Jamari driving, throws it up, he'll draw a foul. See what it's gonna be on. Mingo's acting like it might be on him. That's who it's on, number one, Mingo. That'll put Jamari at the free throw line, shooting two. Six to five. Jamari's not gonna miss. No way he'll miss. There's the miss, talked him out of it. Six to five. Second shot on the way. He is a great three-point shooter. He already got one tonight for the Indians. Second one up, he'll miss that one in and out. Mingo with the rebound, here come the Panthers now. Holding on to a one-point lead. Bell all the way across, got it to Johnson. Johnson kicked out to Mingo. Over to Bryant. Johnson thought about pulling the trigger, drives in, got it to go. Good move by Johnson. Eight to five, Panthers on top, out of bounds. Let's see who, who's got it. Jamari slipped. Charlton will keep it, I think. Panthers almost took it. Wilson will bring it in for the Indians. Here comes Charlton, Martin with the ball. Great little ball handler, he can dribble that ball. Gonna drive around, trying to get to the basket. Good defense by Mingo Bales, tried to save the ball. Indians have it. Good job by Bryant, knocked it out of bounds. Good defensive play by, it all started with Mingo. I don't see how there's 34 seconds on the shot clock. Nobody touched, uh, even took a shot. Coach Terrence, I'm sure, is talking about it. Indians will have the ball. Should be around 15 seconds. Referees will go over there and talk about it. Man, we appreciate everybody tuning in. I want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be in Pearson, Georgia tomorrow. Where it's going to be an even bigger game than what it was going to be now with the Panthers losing. Tonight, they go to Atkinson County tomorrow night. Oh, boy, that Coca-Cola's good. Mm. All right, come on, man. Do the math and let's put it on there and let's roll. Panthers on top, eight to five. Daniel's got a calculator watch. He can go put the time on right now. You get it figured out? I said 15, see there? They listened to me, they'd been ahead of the game. 13 seconds. 
All right, here we go. Raddick will bring it in for the Indians. He'll get it out to Crib. Crib dribbling around, got it back to Martin. Six on the shot clock. Four, three, two, one. Violation, it's not gonna count. Then hit the rim, here come the Panthers. Good defense by the Panthers. Bryant with the ball. He'll get it to Bell. Trying to get it inside to Raymond. Raymond, back door over there. Got him open, RJ. Got it. Good shot by the Panthers. 10 to five now. Biggest lead of the night. There's a steal. Good job by RJ. RJ will throw up a three. Boom! There it is. That's what we've been missing, folks. 13 to five. There's a steal. Johnson has it. Lost it, long pass off number 10. It'll be the Panthers' ball. Crib touched it as it went out of bounds. 13 to five. Here we go, Bryant bringing it down. Over to RJ, RJ with another three off the rim. Crib with the rebound. Here come the Indians. Good pass underneath. The lays it up. Won't go. We got a foul. They're going to call that on Raymond, I'm afraid. Let's see. Yep, that'll be on Raymond. That'll be his first. Boy, he plays hard. That's going to put Hamilton at the free throw line, and he'll miss his first one. Indian struggling to get a shot in now. Second shot on the way. Oh, he missed that one. Raymond with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Bryant has it. He'll dribble through. Dribble around. He'll pull up. 15-footer. Got it. Good shot by Bryant. 15. 15 to five. Oh, that's got to be a travel. He slid 10 foot, but they're going to get a timeout. So we'll take a break too. We'll be back in just a second. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. Here come the Indians. Jamari bringing it down. Brian will pick him up. Panthers look like they're in a man-to-man -man now. Braddock with the ball. Over there's a good steal. Bryant laid out for it. He'll get it to Bell. Oh, they said he rolled over and breathed on the out-of-bound line, and it's a turnover. Man, his shadow went out of bounds. Only in Charleston. That's bad. When your shadow goes out of bounds. Hey. All right, here come the Indians. 15 to 5. 30 seconds to play. Jamari with the ball. You've got to stay on him. He'll blind you from the outside. He's going to drive in. Good move. Bell slapped it away. Here come the Panthers. 15 seconds. Bell reverse. Got him up. That's got to be a foul. And it will be, that's gonna be on number three, Hamilton, that'll be his first. Good move by Bell, he got the block, come down and got the whole team up in the air. How he stops like that, I have no idea. Here come Panthers, Coach Terrence is bringing five fresh bodies into the game. For the last 11 seconds. All five freshmen, Coach Tyson says. 
Five freshmen, Posley with the ball, got it, Domingo. They wanna get it inside, get it off, he does. Oh, almost got it back up, won't go. All right, folks, after one quarter, Panthers 15, Indians five. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Averitt House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones. All right, everybody, we're back here start the second quarter. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We got over 2,000 viewers watching tonight. We appreciate everybody watching Creek Box. Here come the Indians. They're down by 10, 15 to 5. Jamari with the ball. He's got all five points for the Indians. Back to Martin. Martin driving in. Oh, it's going to be in one. Thought he might have traveled, but he didn't. Good shot by Martin. Let's see what the foul's on. It's going to be on number two, Johnson. That'll be his first. Martin trying to make it a three-point play for the Indians. And he does. Good shot. 15 to eight now. Here come the Panthers. Bryant bringing it down. Over to RJ. Johnson with the ball. Bryant back to Raymond. Raymond got it in to Johnson. Drove, won't get it to go. Here come the Indians. Jamari with the ball. Boy, he's quick. He'll good pass back door for the Indians. Got it over to number three, Hamilton with the basket. Here come the Indians now. They've cut it in half, 15 to 10. Johnson with the ball, he give it to RJ. Back to Johnson. Bryant inside the bail. Bail spin around off the backboard and won't go. He'll draw a foul. Let's see who it's on. I think he said number four, I think is what he's saying. Up three. Yep, that's on Hamilton. That'll be his second. Bell at the free throw line. First one off the side. It went off both sides. Second shot on the way. Johnson and Raymond will tra trade places. Bell's second shot on the way. Can't get it to go, he'll miss the second one. Here come the Indians. They got him trapped, you got to get a timeout, and he does. Good defense by the Panthers, 15 to 10. Clinch on top, we'll take a break, we'll be back in just a second. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. All right, folks, welcome back to Creek Box. Here we go, Indians with the ball. Panthers with a little pressure on now. 6.30 to play, there's a turnover by the Indians. Panthers have it. 6.33 to play in the first half. Johnson will bring it in for Clinch. 
Here come the Panthers. Bryant bringing it down. Back over to Johnson. Back to Bryant. Over to RJ. Got it inside the bell. He'll kick it out to Raymond. Johnson with a three. Boom! There it is. A big three by the Panthers. 18 to 10. There's a steal by Bell. Look out. Boom! There it is. The two hands. Slam. Stole the ball and took it to the house. We'll meet you in the parking lot. Here we go. 20 to 10. Panthers back up by 10 and another steal. Here they come. RJ. Bryant with the ball. Panthers slow it down now. RJ with it. Back to Bryant. They get it back to Bell. Three of them pull up on him. He overshot it. Raymond with the rebound. Johnson with another three. Overshot it. Oh, Raymond with the rebound up and in. 22 to 10 now. Another steal by Bell. 24 to 10. The Panthers on fire. Charlton said, we've seen enough. We need a timeout. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in just a second. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. All right, here we go. Here come the Indians. Panthers on an eight to nothing run. 24 to 10. Martin bringing it down. He'll get it to Jamari. Back out to the big man, number 12. That's Lane in the game. He'll pull up. Got it with a three. Good shot by Lane. 24-13. Here come the Panthers. Bryant over to RJ. Back to Bryant. Posley, good save. Bale thought about it. Oh, they said he traveled. That'll be a turnover. 4.52 to play in the first half. Martin will bring it down for the Indians. Over to Lane. Back to Braddock. Braddock trying to make a move. He'll throw up a 12-footer, won't go. Rebound in there to Panthers. Here comes Bell all the way down the end. Got them all over him. Knocked out of bounds. Panthers will keep it. Miller in the game for the Panthers now. RJ with the ball. Bryant will pull the trigger. Boom! There it is. Another three for the Panthers. That's what we've been missing, folks. 27-13. Jamari driving in, got the layup. 27-15, we'll trade them all night. You take two, we'll take three. Bryant, Bell with the ball. We'll pull it back now, slow it down, back over to Bryant. He's gonna throw up one, overshot it. Good save by RJ, they said he stepped on the line, out of bounds. Here comes Martin bringing it down. They'll kick it out. Back to Martin. Trying to set it up. Good defense by the Panthers. Martin going to drive in. They'll got it to go. Thought Miller could get it. 27-17 back to a 10-point game. 3.20 to play in the first half. Bryant with the ball. Over to Posley. Bell with it. Oh, they attack Bell when he gets it. RJ. Posley with a three. Oh, right around the rim, won't go. Miller with the rebound, he'll draw a foul. Good rebound by Miller. That's gonna be on Lane, that'll be his first. 
That'll put Miller at the free throw line. First one up and in. Good shot by Miller. Remind everybody, we got Coach Chase coming up here at halftime. Head coach for the girls' varsity. We'll talk to him. They suffered their first region loss on the season. Miller's second shot, no good, a lane violation, so it doesn't count. Raymond back in the game. Miller will take a break. Here come the Indians, Jamari dribbling around. He's gonna go straight to the basket, throws it up and in, good job. 28-19 now. Panthers still in the lead. RJ with the ball, back to Bryant. Over to Johnson. RJ with it. Johnson back to Bryant. They get it to Bell, they collapse on Bell. They get a jump ball. Good job by Martin, reached in and grab it. Panthers will keep it, they got the possession. Bale will bring it, or Bryant will bring it in, got it to RJ. Look out, Bryant with another three, off the back of the rim. Good rebound, Johnson almost had it. Lost it out of bounds, here come the Indians. 2.29 to play in the first half. Charlton trying to make a run now. They were down by 14. Martin will pull up, won't go. Bell had it. Brian will save it. Here come the Panthers. Kick it over to RJ. Got it to Bell, back out to Bryant. RJ with the ball. Trying to get it to Bell, lost it. Here come the Indians. Martin out of bounds, we're gonna have a foul. That's gonna be on Bryant. That'll be his first. 28-19. Braddock will bring it in for the Indians. Jamari has it, he'll bring it down for Charlton. Under two minutes to play here in the first half. Mingo in the game now for Clinch. Jamari will pull up for a three, won't hit the rim. Here comes Bell out to Mingo. Mingo lays it up. Ooh, there it is. Another two hand slam by Bell. The whole backboard shook. The clock changed time. Martin driving in, lays it up and got it. Mingo laid it off the backboard and Bell crushed it. We got a foul, that's gonna be on Raymond, that'll be his second. Martin at the free throw line. Thirty twenty-one. One twenty-nine to play in the first half. Up there, got it. Good shot by Martin, he made it. 30-22, an eight point game now. Here come the Panthers. RJ with the ball, over to Johnson. Mingo. Mingo with it, all the way across to Johnson. Johnson, good move to the basket, off the backboard, got it. Seven points for Johnson tonight. 32-22, a 10-point game again. Under a minute. Jamari bringing it down for Charlton. See the fouls on here. And they're gonna call it on five, that would be Mingo. Yep, that'll be his second. 44 seconds to play. Martin with the ball. Braddock. Braddock will throw up a three off the rim, won't go. Mingo with the rebound, here come the Panthers. Bell bringing it down. Coach Terrence will call in the play. Bell will slow it down, the shot clock is off.
Oh, Bill almost lost it, saved it somehow, got it back to RJ. 10 seconds now, eight seconds. Back to Bell, six seconds, four seconds, two seconds, one second. There it is, off the backboard won't go. That'll make it 32 to 22 at the half. Panthers lead the Indians. All right, folks, we got Coach Chase. The head coach of the girls' varsity basketball team, Coach Chase, tough loss tonight, brother. The first region game that we've lost all year. That's okay. the good thing, but it is the first. That's a double-edged sword. <laughs> it's the first game we lost, but on the bad side, it's the first game we lost. <laughs> yeah. But, man, anytime you come to Charlton, you know that. It's a tough place to win. We come off that big win, man. We had a great win Tuesday night against Coffee County. And, uh, man, what kind of set it up? Were we just in a slump tonight? Or we couldn't buy a shot, brother. Couldn't buy one down there. Yeah, I mean, hats off to Charlton, man. They played extremely hard tonight. Um, number one was back. You know, she's been dealing with some, That's right. uh, I think, health issues with her hip. Uh-huh. Um, and she, she really makes that team go, man. She adds a lot to it. And, um, you know, it's, it's tough. It's tough when the referees and 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 I'm definitely not blaming the referees, that's right, but that's right. when they're calling loose, that's right. Which they were on both ends, really. That's right. But they were calling loose. So when you've got a team that's getting after it and it's physical and they're calling loose, um, you know it can it can make things a little tougher. But I didn't realize it until um, late in the game, going into the fourth quarter, we had shot two free throws the whole night. Now, I don't mean went to the free throw line. Lord, that's left. <laughs> I don't. I don't mean went to the free throw line two different times. I meant shot two free throws. That's right. Battle yeah. had 16 points for yeah. Charlton, number one. But now I'm gonna tell you who hurt us. I thought was the center steal. Yeah, she, she played it up a relief. with 15 points. Yeah. And man, we played good defense, but all of a sudden she started using the backboard and just couldn't miss. Yeah, and you know, Dorsey got. Foul trouble. She did, and um, I, I just, I don't know. Felt weird coming over here. We had a couple of girls, a couple of key players, and got in a little bit of trouble at school today. That's right. Made, you know, made some bad decisions or whatever. But um, we love them. We can't wait to get yeah, them back. Yeah, you know, that and we hope that you know the only, the only bad mistakes are the ones you keep making you keep repeating That's and, right. and we're hoping you know that this is a learning moment and eat, not just for them but for the rest of the team and um you know so we were down a starter and a and a key player off the bench you know yeah, oh so, my god uh, that's played all year for us yeah you know, so that, um you know like i said well, well you know and and I don't, you hate to lose if it's picking up pine cone but this might get your attention going in you gotta yeah but now it makes that game even that much more important tomorrow night over in Axon County. That's right. That's what I and I told him in the locker room. I said, "Look, you know, I'm glad that it stings. I'm glad you're upset about a loss." Um, I said, "Because that shows you care about it." But at the same time, you got to flush this one because we've got yeah. a huge game yeah. tomorrow night. Yeah. Huge game, and as long as we, um, you know, come out on top tomorrow night against a very good ACO team. Um, then we still control our own destiny, That's you know, right. as far as hosting a region tournament, being the number one seed in regular season and that kind of thing. Although you still got to get past Turner and Lanier still, you know, That's after right. tomorrow night. But, um, you know, we're going to regroup. And I told them they can make, you know, they got two decisions. We, you know, coaches and players, we can stew over this and we can come out and pout and we can, you know, uh, just be, have sour grapes and everything. Or, you can say, you know what, let's don't let it happen again, and we can go over there tomorrow focused and, um, you know, hopefully get a, get a win, get back on track. Well, brother, that's the only way you can get that bad taste out of your mouth is to move on to the next one and get the win and get it out of there. And, uh, uh, man, we sitting here, we got a pile of people that's tuned in. We're over 2,400 people, man, and there's going to be a crowd. Everybody's been talking about tomorrow's game. Do you think we were looking a little bit? We beat Charlton handily. In, in in Clinch County, we beat them 14 points, 12 or 14 points. Do you think there was any overlooking that game tomorrow from tonight? Not to take nothing away from the Indians. Right. Maybe, um, you know, of course, the coaches knew this was going to be a hard-fought battle That's over right. here. Um, you, you try to – you try to – 
to help, you know put instill that in their minds and everything but um at the end of the day they're still teenagers and and i'm sure that they're looking at this team lost to you know uh i think they lost to Eccles. Mm-hmm. you know um they lost to they've lost several games that's right you know um and so i'm sure there was a little bit and i think that there's already been a little junk talking going on with Pearson and sending messages and everything you know which makes the great that's makes right. for a great that's rivalry right. and makes for you know that's what you want you want excitement you want the girls to be they're fully confident we're we're confident so um you know you kind of expect that a little bit but I, I think that they possibly were looking ahead but you know I'm not we definitely don't need to make excuses I just felt like Charlton played extremely hard yeah, tonight. They wanted you know? it a little bit more um, than the Panthers did. I, but, man, we got to have the crowd there tomorrow because I know you said the kids feed off all the, the crowd that's into the yeah, game. Man. Their athletic director said that they've been having a lot of uh, fans, especially for their girls' games. Um, it's going – I expect it to be rocking over there tomorrow night. Oh, man, people get there early. We'll be there tomorrow. Coach, man, we love you. You're doing a great job. Hey, we play in a tough region, and anything can happen. We got a lot of tough games left. We still got Lanier. You got Axon, and you, but the one you're worried about is tomorrow night. So, uh, man, good luck to y'all, and we hope to see you tomorrow and have some a better conversation tomorrow night after tomorrow night's game. Yeah, yep. We appreciate everything y'all do. Uh, this one, this one stings, but we're gonna regroup. We're gonna be all right, man. That's right. The sun will come up in the morning, brother. We love you. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow, man. Yes, sir. All right, we'll be back in just a little bit, folks. We're gonna run a couple of ads. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912 987-5822. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies. Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 970-2359 to learn more.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. You got my buddy Daniel Munzo up here running the camera. We appreciate Coach Chase coming in. The coach's interview is sponsored by Tom Kennedy for mayor. We appreciate him sponsoring. Panthers lead by 10, 32 22. Finally got some points from the outside. R.J. Gloucester with five points in the first half with a three-pointer. Johnson with seven points in a three-pointer. Bryant with seven points in a three-pointer. Miller with one point. Bale with two big dunks and eight points in the first half. And Raymond with four points in the first half. We're getting ready to play Panthers in their red uniforms. Charlton in white. Here we go. Indians have it. Oh, and they'll turn it over. Number 11, Tolliver threw it behind Braddock. It went out of bounds. So here come the Panthers now. Bryant with the ball. I plum hate the swap in. This end was so good to the Panthers. Bryant with the ball, back over to RJ. RJ to Raymond down low, got it in one. Good shot by Raymond. 34-22, foul on number 11. That is Tolliver, that's his first. Raymond can make it a three-point play. Well over 2,000 people watching tonight on Creek Box. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Raymond, it wrapped around the rim, won't go. Jamari with the rebound. Here come the Indians, got it down. Bell tried to get it, but couldn't. Good basket by Lane. Five points for Lane tonight. Back to a 10-point game, 34-24. Don't count these Indians out. They're going to make a run before the night's over. Brian over to Mingo. Mingo got it to Bell. RJ with a three, won't go. Bale with the rebound. Panthers keep it, got it to Bryant behind the back. Raymond up and in. Good job by the Panthers. Raymond lighting it up tonight. Lane with the ball down low. He'll lay it up and in. Another basket for the Indians. 36-26. Raymond with the ball. Back to Mingo. RJ with it. Got it down to Raymond in the paint. Back out to Bell. He'll throw up a three. Boom! There it is. Bell with a three. 39-26. Panthers getting a little bit of press in there. Jamari driving. Got it. And one. Raymond was just standing there. Good job by Jamari driving in and using the backboard. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Boy, that's a big foul. Raymond, that's his third one. Coach Terrence won't waste any time. Looks like he's going to bring Malik in the game. Raymond will sit down. 6.25 to play in the third. Jamari trying to make it a three-point play. Let's see. And he won't, it's off the end of the rim. Martin struggling out of bounds. Oh, they're gonna call a push on Bell. Man. There's that shadow again. So that'll be on Bell, that'll be his first. Martin with the ball. He'll pull up, 10-footer, won't get it to go. Rebound, Bell, here come the Panthers. Bell zipping down the court, throws it up and in. Another basket by Bell. 41-28 now. Jamari driving back, that's got to be a charge. Oh, man, come on. Hey, man. Sister Mary, Coach Terrence don't like that one. They're going to call that on number 13, Bell. Back-to-back -back fouls. Everybody on this side thought it was a charge. 
So Jamari back at the free throw line. First one on the way. Got it. Good shot by Jamari. 41-29. Second one on the way. Off the back of the rim. Mingo got it, lost it. Bell has it. Here come the Panthers. Bryant with the ball. Over to RJ. Malik, turn around, trying to get it. No foul, there's a turnover, and here come the Indians. Braddock with the ball. Bell slaps it out in the parking lot again. Down the hallway, into the classroom. Indians will keep it. Jamari will bring it in for the Indians. Got it to Lane. Martin with the long three. Off the back of the rim, won't go. Bale with the rebound, here they come. Bryant has it. He'll pull up 15 footer off the rim, won't go. Here come the Indians now. Just to play in the third. Got to get it in, the clock's ticking. They do, they get it in to number three, Hamilton. Over to Glover, back to Martin. Martin looking, going to drive, lost it. Good save by Lane, he's going to drive to the basket, up and in. Lane keeping the Indians alive here in the third. Mingo with the ball, got it to Bell. Bell pull up at the free throw, back to Mingo. Bryant drives in, lays it in. What a move by Bryant. 46-31. Bryant faked the throw and went to the basket. Glover with the ball. Oh, almost a steal by Bryant. Glover with the three, won't go. Jamari had it, we're gonna have a foul. That's gonna be on Johnson, I think. Let's see. Yep, that'll be his second. That's gonna put Hamilton at the free throw line for the Indians. First shot on the way, wrapped around the rim, won't go. Number five in the game. I don't have that young man's name. If anybody knows it, please get it to me. He's a great ball player. I watched him play in the JV game. Good shot there by Hamilton. He got the basket. Here we go. Now the Indian's gonna put a little bit of pressure on. Posley with the ball. Oh, lost it. Gonna roll, they scoop, oh, he almost lost it. Terrence wanted traveling, and they do call it finally. Man, the young man had it and saved it, lost it. So the Panthers will have it back. It was gonna be a backcourt. They get it over to Johnson, Johnson. The Burns. Johnson with the ball now. Back over to Bryant. Johnson with it again. All the way across to Bryant. Under a 10. Six seconds on the shot clock. Posley with it. Bale will throw up a three. Can't get it. Panthers got the rebound. Bryant will throw it up. Oh, that's not a violation. It hit the rim. Young man will throw up a three. Won't go. It wrapped around the rim. Burns with the rebound. Here comes Bell. Bell behind your back. He'll pull up inside. Won't get it. Burns with the rebound. Turn around. Got it. Good shot by Burns. Forty-six, thirty-two. Here come the Indians. 
2-10 to play in the third. Jamari with the ball. Driving in, oh. Oh man, what a collision, went down hard, bails back up. Oh, come on. Oh my, man. He didn't even touch him. He jumped straight up. Bale will pick up his third foul. Once again, the mysterious shadow man makes a foul. Free throwing away, good shot there by number 10, that's Crib. No, excuse me, that is Tolliver, number 11. Dollar Bill says, let's go Panthers. Tolliver got them both. 46-34. Richard Self says he loved the way we pass in the ball. We finally are hitting some from outside. Another good basket down low for the Panthers. Miller with the basket. Oh, that's a good steal. Brian will scoop it up. Look out. Oh, come on. Coach Terrence screaming on the sideline. There's a three by the Panthers. Off the rim won't go. Here come the Indians. Long pass. Got it to number three. Lays it up. Won't go. Off the backboard. Got it then. Hamilton with the basket. 48-36. 12-point lead by the Panthers. Posley. Back to Bryant, back to Posley. Bryant has it. Let's see what we got here. Number 11, that's going to be Tolliver. That'll be his third. Get it to Posley. Miller with it. Got it back out to Johnson. Three won't go. Miller with the rebound. Back to Mingo. No, Bryant. Three, two, one on the shot clock. Posley throws it up. Off the rim won't go. Miller with the rebound. Panthers can run it all out now. Johnson back out to Malik. We got a foul. Let's see who it's on. Johnson went down hard. That'll be on Martin. That'll be his first. I don't know neither, brother. When they shoot free throws, they all run to the other end. Malik will bring it in for the Panthers. They get it to Posley under the basket, up and in. Good shot by Posley. 50 to 36. Six seconds. Four seconds. Two seconds. Braddock will pull the trigger. Wrapped around the whim, won't go. 50 36 after three played. Panthers lead. We'll be back in just a second. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions. For All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box. 
Panthers leading. Hey, somebody said the mysterious shadow man made a foul. Not in Folkestone, Coach. You're right. Hey. Panthers with the ball. Raymond back in the game, and he had a great third quarter for the Panthers. Didn't have but four points, but man, he had some plays. He's got eight tonight. He's got to be careful. He's playing with three fouls. Bale has three also. Don't give up on the Indians. They're going to make another run, no doubt about it. Jamari with the ball. He'll kick it out to 10. Can't go. Bryant with the rebound. Martin all over him. Oh, and he'll steal the ball. He's just so quick. He'll lay it out to Jamari. Lays it up and in and just that quick. 50 to 38. Bryant with the ball. Back over to Bell. Bell, good pass, Raymond, back door, got it. That's what I'm talking about. Raymond gets the ball in the paint, he's going to the basket. 52-38 now. Jamari will throw up one from the outside, won't go. Miller will tap it over to Bell, and here come the Panthers. Bell with the ball, back out to Bryant. Oh, come on, man, he got him in the back, RJ. That's gonna be number 11, Tolliver, that could be foul. Let's see here. Yep, that's three on Tolliver, they said. Bryant with the ball. Raymond got it. Raymond will throw up one. Off the back of the rim, won't go. Here come the Indians. Martin with it. Martin will throw up another three. Won't go. They just can't. Man, as good as they was in Omerville, they have struggled tonight from the outside. Bell, good pass, got him again. Raymond on the backside. Up and in. 52-38. And one. See who they called the foul on. They're going to call it on Tolliver, and that's foul number four. Indians look like they're going to leave him in. 5.54 to play. Good job by Raymond, made it a three-point play. 55-38, Jamari with a three, got it. First one, what a second one of the night for Jamari. He hit one in the first. They had five points in the first quarter and they were all scored by Jamari. Panthers have held him since then. Good pass, Miller, it'll be knocked out of bounds. Jamari knocked it out, Panthers will keep it. Bell will throw up a three, overshot it. Raymond all almost bounced it off Tolliver, but the Indians got it. Martin with the ball. He'll back it up now. Bell will pick him up. We'll slow it down. 5.15 to play in the game. Martin driving in. Good block there by Miller. Knocked it out of bounds. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Indians will keep it. Martin will run over to bring it in. Braddock with the ball. He'll good pass Braddock down to Hamilton and Hamilton got it. Good move by the Indians. 55-43. Bell with the ball, got it over to Bryant. Bryant trying to drive in, got it to Miller, off the backboard, up and in. Miller with the basket. Long three, got it. Good shot, Jamari waking up now for the Indians. 57-46. Charlton waking up outside, out of bounds. Martin said, I see, was it a foul? 
He was forced out of bounds. Panthers will keep it. Bryant with the ball now. Raymond with a three off the back of the rim won't go. Raymond got his own rebound, got it to Bryant. Bryant, spin move, throws it up, 10 footer won't go. Bell with the rebound, up and in. 59-46. Jamari coming in, drives, got a foul before the basket. They're gonna call that on number one, RJ. That'll be his first, I think. No, way before he shot the ball. I got RJ with four fouls. No, there you go, I was fixing to say. Martin bringing it in. They get it to Jamari, long three, there it is again. He's on fire now. That's three here in the fourth. A 10 point game now, 59-49. 3.45 to play, the clock is running. Panthers want to slow and chew a little bit on the clock. Bell says, nope, we're going to drive it in. He'll kick it back out. Johnson will drive in. Off the backboard, it won't go. And they're going to call a foul on Raymond. Mm. Raymond with his fourth foul. Uh, on his back. 3.33, the clock running. Here come the Indians. Jamari with 11 points here in the fourth already. Lane back in the game for the Indians. Jamari again with the ball. Martin with the long three, trying to use the backboard, won't go. Raymond with the rebound. Bale has it. They get it over to Raymond, back to Johnson. Choose some on the clock. Bale with the ball. Three minutes to play. Bell dribbling around, knocked out of bounds. Let's see, he might call a foul on Martin. I think he did. That'll be foul number two on Martin. Mingo coming in the game. Raymond will take a break. Bryant back in the game. Miller will take a break. RJ with the ball. Two fouls now on Martin. We got a foul, that one will go on number one, Braddock. Johnson will bring it in for the Panthers. Tolliver in the game, he's got four fouls, got to be careful. Bryant got it to Bell. Good save by Bell, he dribbled off his ankle. RJ with the ball. 10, eight seconds on the shot clock, six seconds. RJ will kick it out. Oh, they're gonna call a three second violation on the Panthers, they'll turn it over. 2.29 to play in the game. Jamari bringing it down for the Indians. Johnson got him, picked him up, trying to get it down low. Good pass, that's gonna be on Mingo. Tolliver with the basket, and one. Here come the Indians now. That'll be Mingo's third. Off the edge of the rim, Mingo with the rebound. He'll give it to Bale. Back to Bale. Good pass over to Johnson. Got it. RJ lost it, and here come the Indians back. Oh, another steal by Bryant. RJ with the ball. 152 to play. The clock is running. 59-51. Eight, eight points. 
It's been as high as 15. Mingo throws it up and in. Good shot by Mingo. What a shot. That was huge. Back to a 10 point game. 134 to play. Braddock with the ball. Now you got to shoot threes, which they can. Jamari will give it up to Lane. Mingo got it blocked, and then we got a foul. They're going to call that on Bale or RJ. Let's see. 123 to play. It's going to be on Bale. That's going to be foul number four. Man, he had no fouls at halftime and picked them all up in the third and the fourth. Lane, it'll wrap around the end, the rim, and go down. Bale will come out. Miller in the game for the Panthers. Second one by Lane, won't go. Miller with the rebound. RJ has it, run, clock, run. Bryant with it. Bryant over to Mingo. Back to Bryant. 110 to play, clock running. 20 seconds on the shot clock, plenty of time. RJ with the ball. One minute to play now, folks. Johnson drives in, lost it out of bounds. We got a foul. Let's see if it's on Tolliver. It is, and he's gone. That'll be foul number five. 61-51, Panthers up top. Y'all be careful, coach. Here we go. Johnson at the free throw line. Want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be in Atkinson County tomorrow night. Be some great basketball tomorrow night. Another tough region 2A contest. Panthers, Lady Panthers suffered their first loss. Atkinson County has one region loss, so tomorrow's winner will be in first place. Pretty much have it wrapped up. Free throw on the way. Good shot by Johnson. 58 seconds to play. Bell back in the game. Mingo will take a break along with uh, Miller. Second one on the way, won't go. Indians with the rebound. Here comes Martin bringing it down. He'll throw up a three. Bale got a piece of it. Put it off, look out. Bale back over to Bryant. Bryant slows it down. He wanted to. Bryant will dribble around, 39 seconds. Clock running, 62-51. Panthers are going to come out of here. It's hard to get a win in Folkestone, but the Panthers have come over here and got one. Bryant trying to drive in and lost it out of bounds. 26 seconds to play. Martin will bring it down for the Indians. He'll pull up a long three off the back of the rim. Won't go. RJ with the rebound. Lays it out to Bell behind his back at once, twice, and he'll dribble back out. That's going to do it, folks. Panthers are going to get a 62-51 to 51 win in Charlton County and revenge the loss they suffered in Clinch County. We're going to take a break, and we'll come back and go over the stats. We'll be back in just a second. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley, my buddy Daniel Munzo. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We had well over 2,000 viewers tonight. I'll get you tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm good. We'll get you tomorrow night. Coach Terrence, man, he's excited. A big win. We'll have him interview him uh, halftime of the girls' game tomorrow night. Uh, it works better for him. Panthers, revenge, man, they lost the first game 65-60 to in Homerville to the Indians from Charlton and got them back 62-51. Top scores for the Panthers with RJ with eight points, Johnson with eight, Bryant with nine, Mingo with two, Miller with seven, Bell with 15, Raymond with 13. Big scores for the Indians with Jamari with 23, Hamilton with seven, Crib with four, and Tolliver with nine. Panthers get another big region, two, a victory, and man, kind of get that bad taste out of their mouth for the last couple of games. They hit one, two, three, four, five three-pointers tonight, so the outside has opened up. Before we get out of here, I need to give a shout out to our sponsors, without them, None of this is possible. We got Homerville Jewelers, Clinch Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine Program, Dre Snack Shack, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clayton Homes of Waycross, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Pizza Inn of Waycross, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Camping World 